Years of practice, thousands of repetitions, and sheer dedication have been used through the centuries to help athletes excel at discus throwing. From ancient Greece to the modern day, throwers have continued to awe us with their power, balance, and concentration. But just how similar are the throwers of today to the throwers in years past? Exactly how much has discus throwing evolved? Through research and state-of-the-art technology, we set out to find answers to these questions. Discus throwing emerged in ancient Greece during the 18th Olympiad, around 708 BC. It was one of the five events of the pentathlon, along with the Hama, Pale, Stadion Race, and the Akon. Discoi were most commonly made out of bronze, however stone and iron were also used. The degree to which discoi were standardized is not completely clear, however it seems that the most common size was about 21 centimeters in diameter, with a weight of 2 kilograms, very similar to that of the modern discus. There are accounts of larger discoi being used. The International Association of Athletics Federation states that a discus could have weighed 2 to 6 kilograms with a measurement of 21 to 34 centimeters. There was an instance of a successful pentathlete dedicating a heavier discus to Olympia as an offering to Zeus, but it is debated whether a heavier discus such as this would be used in the actual throwing event. The three discoi used in the events were kept in the treasury of the Siconians at Olympia. The pentathletes would throw each discus once, and it has been suggested that the discoi increased in weight and size as an athlete progressed through the competition, although more evidence is needed to confirm this theory. Pentathletes were a fan favorite, mainly because they possessed the ideal Greek male body. Greek artists commonly depicted them in their works, producing our best sources regarding the throwing motion of these athletes. The starting position was most commonly captured in vase paintings. The images show athletes standing, holding a discus at head level in the vertical position, with their weight placed on the right rear leg. Their left hands are used to stabilize the discus. It is unclear whether the athletes are looking down the track or have their backs towards it. For this reason, it is not known if a spin was incorporated into their throwing motion, like the modern day discus throwers, or if they simply used an upper body twisting motion. decided to go and test out the different throwing techniques for ourselves. The ancient discus ranged up to 34 centimeters in diameter. However, we weren't able to necessarily match that exact size, so we had to substitute it with a 10-pound uh, plate. Um, it worked pretty well, it was a little too big, but we made it work. The athlete would bend over, keeping the weight on his right foot as he brought his throwing arm back. As he began the spin, the weight would shift from his right leg to his left leg to generate enough power to release the discus. With the modern discus, the most common technique to throw it is using the spin. Uh, but when I tried using the spin with the 10 pound plate, it was much harder and almost impossible to throw it that way. So I can see why ancient athletes uh, chose to do the standing throw instead.
throw would be marked with a simian or small peg. Athletes at Olympia would be allowed three throws. However, other sources have shown five. It is thought that the number of throws varied between locations. The athlete with the farthest throw won the competition. From my experience throwing discus, uh, the weight in high school was 1.6 kilograms and the weight in college is 2 kilograms, which is around 4.5 pounds. So to throw the 10 pound plate, which is more or less the size of the ancient discus, was a giant leap uh, and it was, it was a big challenge. Uh, even throwing from the standing position, just holding on to it and getting the proper spin uh, took a lot of effort and it still didn't really work out. So uh, it's hard to imagine how the ancient athletes uh, would have been able to throw it. 